So today I'm here to show you how you can create some motion graphics using PNG files that you can import to your um, project inside of DaVinci Resolve. I decided to show you this because I this needed to create an intro for a, a clip that I'm doing and I decided to share it with you. So let's go into the computer and let me show you how you can create it also. So let's go. So here we are inside of the edit page of uh, DaVinci Resolve and let me show you what I'm going to teach you today. So this is a simple animation with PNGs. So let's create this for you to see how easy it is. So right click in the media pool, new fusion composition and animate car with a name double click it and now we are inside of the fusion page of DaVinci Resolve and let's start assembly this so let's put here a background let's connect the background to our media out I'm gonna change the name of the background I'm gonna type sky because this is gonna be the sky color so let's put it at the blue something like this okay now let's add the mountains add here a background this will be some sort of a green something like that and I'm gonna use here a polygon mask to draw the background and I'm gonna connect it to over here so it creates this merge now let's select the polygon let's rename it for mountains and now with the mountain selected let's zoom out a little bit of this and let's create our mountain so something like this and like this let me add another point here so we have the mountains let's adjust this point because it's too pointy and it's not natural so let's select one press with the mouse over here and I don't know if you can see it look here it gives these handles now press Control or command on Mac and you can adjust it like this and like this do the same for the others okay so it's done now let's add here the road so I'm gonna add another background I'm gonna change the color of this to a gray something like this and I'm gonna add a rectangular mask here I'm gonna connect it over here let's connect it here to the end of this merge and it will merge it so this one is going to be the road sorry road and i'm gonna increase the width i'm gonna put it down and now here to the center to the y and i'm gonna put it somewhere around here and so the background is done now let's assemble our car so I'm going to need a car, so I'm dragging it over from my media pool. So this is a PNG file. I'm going to need two wheels, one and two wheels. And I'm going to need here the arm that will wave to, to you. <laughs> so this arm is the arm that's going to wave. So let's rename this. It's going to be the arm. This one is going to be the front wheel this one is the car and this one is the back wheel i like to rename so i i know what i'm adjusting so now this let's put it over here to the top like this now let's start putting this together i'm gonna use a multi-merge node this one if you don't see it in here you can press shift space and type multi and it's here multi merge and add it over here okay now after this multi merge i'm going to add a transform node and i'm going to connect this to over here to create another merge so now let's after the here let me move this to here after this one i'm going to add another transform I'm going to put it over here do the same with this after each one of these I'm going to add also 
a transform something like this and do the same here I use the transform to resize to move to animate everything so now I'm gonna add here a background this background I'm gonna type to none this one won't do anything but it's for connecting to this one and in here I'm gonna reduce the alpha so let's put it like this so now I'm gonna connect here the car to the multi-merge and we have the car in here as you can see it's too big so I'm gonna resize it I'm going to come here to the transform on here to the size and I'm gonna resize it like this and I'm gonna flip it because I'm gonna come from the left and I'm gonna come here to the center and I'm gonna put the car in the road something like this okay so the car is over there now let's put the wheel so let's connect this wheel to the multi-merge and the wheel is too big that's why we have here the transform so I'm gonna size it down also and I'm gonna move it somewhere around here and let me zoom in so something like this and I'm gonna resize a little bit more and I'm gonna put the wheel here and put it something like this so it's in place now let's resize it let's connect the front wheel to the multi-merge also and it's also too big go to the transform do the same so scale it down select the center and move it around here let's zoom this in and it's too big okay so we have the wheels we have the car but as you can see here you see the green and in the car this is this is not natural so let's create a mask to cover that so let's create it so let's add a background somewhere around here and we're gonna add a mask a polygon mask so let's add the polygon mask over here and let's connect this to the multi-merge and let me put this down so let's come here, here let me type f2 front mask and in here with the mask select let's create the mask so one here one here now no, let's draw here the mask around and let's close it and we have our mask created somewhere around here now let's add the back one don't worry about that we'll fix that in a moment let's do the same another polygon mask this one connected to here this one has going to be the rear mask and let's zoom in and let's with the rear mask select it come here and do the same like this And close it now we can adjust it like this move it somewhere around here I think it's okay it's not perfect but you can adjust it like do the same for the front select the front one and do the same over here and over here if you want it perfect so now it's done now let's come here to the multi merge and I think it's this one we can put it down and it will go to the back so now everything it's done let's add the arm so let's collect connect the arm here to the multi-merge also and it's gigantic so let's first thing let's go to the transform let me move this down like this here in the transform go to the size and scale it down a lot let me flip it like this and let me rotate it like this let's grab here the center let's see if we okay so 
it's here. Do the same, go to, to the multi-merge and this one, put it back. Okay, now let's animate everything. So first thing, come here to the car, do the transform, it's F2, car, move. So this will animate the entire movement of the car. So let's select the car movement here in the center, give it a keyframe. And let's move this out. So let me zoom this a lot. So we, let's put it out. Now let's go to the end, add another keyframe and move it to, let me see, to over here. So now if we play it, look, let's zoom in. Let's put this with one only one viewer. It's easier now. Let's play it. Look, the car is coming from here with a arm and it's going to the other way. So now we have it like this. Let's animate the wheels because the wheels we want in spinning. So let's go to over here to the first frame, go to the back wheel, come here to the transform, come here to the angle and in here type 960 and add a keyframe. Now let's go to the last one and add another keyframe and put a minus over here. Now let's go to the front wheel and do the same. So in the last one here, it's add a keyframe it's minus 960, go to the first one, add the keyframe, 960 and 960, okay. Now if I play it, you can see that both wheels are spinning. Now it's done, so now let's animate our hand, put it waving. So let me see, somewhere around here, I'm gonna add, let's go to the arm like this, select the transform, Come here to the angle, add a keyframe, go to the X and Y center, add a keyframe. And in here, let's move this down. Let's go somewhere around here, add a keyframe over here and over here. And I want to put it somewhere around here like this. And I want to put this like this. So now let's come. Here, 48, add a keyframe, add a keyframe in this one. Now I'm going to move it a little bit back. Come here, add another keyframe, keyframe, and like this. Here, keyframe, keyframe, and here. Do repeat, so we want to waving, do it one more time, like this, keyframe, keyframe, oops, too much, <laughs> and here, add another keyframe, I want it in here, and in here, add another keyframe, and keyframe, and in here, with this one, I'm going to move it back to here. And now, look, you have it, the car coming, showing your, the hand and waving and going out. Now, let's smooth this because the movement is not natural. Come here to the splines and look for the transform number five. I think it's, look, transform number five. Come here, transform number five, select it. And you have here this movement. So select this once and press S to smooth the movement. Now select this one and press F. Do the same here, F and do the same here. And you can adjust the handles if you want like this and like this. Now I think the movement is better so let's come here 
hide the spline and it's coming it's waving and it's going out again so now let's add the text it'll come here so i'm going to add the text somewhere around here so come here add the, te the text node and connect it to here to add the merge and let's come to the text and super cars let's change the font let's see something like this i'm gonna come here to the shading i'm gonna enable the shadow and i'm gonna come here let me change the color i want it like this come here to the layout and i'm gonna put it somewhere around here i'm gonna increase the size something like this probably a little bit more like here and i'm gonna add some angle something like this to the letters so now i want the letters to appear over here so in here go to the layout over here and add a keyframe and to the size add a keyframe let me go to the beginning and do the same other keyframe in here to add a keyframe in here in here i want to put the, this out and, and in here i want it to be zero so it's coming in like this and somewhere around here okay at the 84 do the same other keyframe here other keyframe here and in the last one add a keyframe here put it to zero no but first let me first let me put this over here and go to the size now and zero and it's done so the animation is done let's play it to check it all oh, the supercars appearing now with the sh shaking the arm and now it's going out so now we can go to the edit page and we have the animated car put it over here let me enable this one and let's play it so it comes it waves and it goes of course you can adjust now the movements and everything but as you can see it's done so as you could see, it's very easy to create using those PNG files and it's simple. So I hope you learned something today. And if yes, don't forget, hit that like button that helps a lot. Subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and hit that notification bell to be notified next time I launch a video. Until then, bye.